Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys? It's Brown Man's Comics back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are heading final order cut off this coming Monday night. Sunday again if you're DC Comics or Scout Comics. But some great picks this week. And I do want to take a moment to say thank you for everyone that joined me on the Whatnot app in my first debut live stream. Sold some of the books out of my collection. What, no, it, was, it was a great experience. Enjoyed doing it. Enjoyed having everyone in there in the chat. Dollar auctions, minute long. It was a fun time. Plan to do that again. So if you're on the Whatnot app, check me out at Simplemans underscore comics. Give me a follow. That way you'll be notified next time I do a Whatnot sale. But either way, let's get into the picks right now, starting with Image Comics. We get Echo Lands number one. This is a new ongoing series from Image. Looks like a really fun comic book, especially if you're a fan of those fantasy tales. But it's saying it's actually kind of not specific to just fantasy. It's kind of, they're calling it a genre mashup where we're gonna have wizards. We're gonna have cyborg elves. We're gonna have Roman demigods. We're gonna have mobsters. So it's gonna span everything. They promise one hell of a ride. It's gonna be a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of horror, a little bit of noir it looks like. But either way, Echo Lands number one hits FOC this Monday night. Also from Image Comics, we're getting Second Chances number one. If you're in need of a new identity, all you have to do is call this Second Chances hotline. But when the man behind the hotline gets approached by a shady figure from his past, he is forced to give a second identity to someone that normally wouldn't meet the criteria. And this someone is a chemically induced amnesia person who desperately needs protection. That right there is enough for me to pique my interest to want to pick this up, to want to read it. Looks like one hell of a story. And it's by a new up and coming author, Ricky Mamone. Hope I said that name right, of course. Getting over to Dark Horse, here's one book that I've been excited about. If you're a fan of Canto, big fan of David Boer myself. He's the writer of Canto. He's written other great stories. Alien Bounty Hunter from Vault Comics is one of my favorite. He's got a Firefly one shot issue coming up from Boom Studios. But here he has a new creator owned book from Dark Horse and Killer Queens. Issue number one, hidden FOC. David Brewer himself describes this as a queer Guardians of the Galaxy space epic event. Really looking forward to picking this up. It has some great covers for it. There is that cover A. I like that cover B, Jim Bartell, myself. That's the one I'm definitely going to be ordering with that cover A. But there's three covers for it. All of them are great. So yes, definitely picking this up to support the author, David Boer. But I know just from his body of work, we have one great story on our hands. Moving over to IDW, we get Bermuda number two. Talked about issue number one on Final Order Cutoff. That issue was just recently released in comic book stores. But number two is hitting Final Order Cutoff. IDW also had on their site a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive variant for this. But here we get issue number two, hitting Final Order Cutoff. And one thing to make note of also... J. Scott Campbell fans, if you're a fan of J. Scott Campbell, that looks like they're soliciting a 1 in 25 and a virgin 1 in 50 and Cine variant from J. Scott Campbell for Bermuda number two. Moving over to Marvel, King is on the tips of every comic fan's tongue right now, especially with Loki, and it looks like we've just been introduced to the newest big bad villain in the MCU. So everyone's loving some Kang. Marvel's taking notice, and we get a five issue miniseries, Kang the Conqueror hitting FOC this Monday night. And did I mention that Marvel's taking notice because there's also going to be 12 different covers for this issue, just like Marvel likes to do. Out of all those covers, I do think cover A is my favorite, but some of those Stormbreakers covers, right? Some of those spotlighting artists that Marvel is doing. There is a Peach Momoko. And another one that people like to point out that people like to collect of course, you know there's a Scotty Young baby variant for this. So that's one that seems to be popular as well. Kang the Conqueror, five issue miniseries, 12 different covers, FOCs this coming Monday. Also from Marvel, we get that Miles Morales Spider-Man annual number one. A lot of times I don't put annuals in this video because annuals usually tend to be one-off stories or one-shots. And this kind of seems to go that route. 
But what I do like about this and the main reason why I have this in this video, have you guys heard of an image series right now called Stray Dogs? The writer for that, Tony Fleeks, well, he actually has an incentive ratio variant for this issue, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, annual number one. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Either way, he has an incentive one in 25 variant for this annual. And it's absolutely gorgeous because it kind of has that old retro magazine stashed away, kind of crinkled up look to it. I love the look for that. Love Tony Fleeks right now. He's been around a lot longer than Stray Dogs, but I'm glad he's getting some attention from Stray Dogs. Fantastic series. Either way, that 1 in 25 incentive is the one that I'm pre-ordering. Then also from Marvel, another book that just released issue number one this previous week, Moon Knight number two hits FOC this coming Monday. A lot of great feedback for that first issue. A lot of fans are, are, are tending to enjoy that book. I picked it up. I also enjoyed it myself, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not the biggest Moon Knight fan, and it seems like I'm kind of jumping on that bandwagon. I've collected some of the covers for the artists, but Moon Knight himself has never kind of gravitated towards that character. Enjoyed the first issue that just came out. Look to pick up issue number two. And I will tell you, talking about some of those artists and some of those covers, Bill Senkovich always stands out. David Finch always stands out. Here we're going to get a 1 in 25 incentive David Finch variant. It's not my favorite Moon Knight cover, but I still like it. So I will be on the hunt for that as well. And as I've done before, I like to talk about one trade paperback or omnibus or an additional book that kind of catches my eye. This week from Dark Horse Hit and Finora Cutoff, I like that God of War Fallen God trade paperback collecting all four issues. That's hitting Finora Cutoff. I've talked about those single issues in this video series. I've talked about God of War series as a whole, all this comic book series on other videos. Big fan of that. Big fan of the video game. Either way, trade paperback you can collect all four issues of Fallen God hitting FOC. And remember, if you pre-order a lot of times before Final Order Cutoff, LCS's online stores will often offer a discount. So make sure you ask or make sure you check the website to see if you get a discount for that. But God of War, Fallen God, great series. And you get that whole collection of those four issues and it hits FOC Monday night. Which brings me lastly to some additional prints. I just have two for this week. From Image, we get that Radiant Black number five, third print. That is also going to have a 1 in 10 incentive third print variant with it. And then, of course, from DC Comics, one of the hottest writers in comics right now, James Tynan, getting that nice house on the lake. Issue number two is getting a second print. As of right now, I do not see an incentive variant for that. I know they have for some of the other additional printings for issue number one. They've had an incentive additional printing. As of right now, for issue number two, I just see the one cover. So if you if so if there is one and you guys have noticed, please let me know in the comments. But there it is, guys. My picks for comic books hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday, Sunday for DC and lunar distribution. With that being said, this is Brown Submits Comics. See you guys in the next video.